Hello, how you doing? This video is about why I'm, I've been trying out the vegan thing, why I'm not going to necessarily be vegan all the way. It's just like I was feeling kind of like, it felt like it was like making something weak in my knees and I'm just like, I have, I've had some kind of energy energy problem, you know, but there's other factors that could have been playing in that. So I'm not really sure, you know, but um, I just uh, what I'm going to do is if, if you if you check out my song uh, Dead Turtles, that's my song about about my message about um, environmental issues and about, uh, you know, that we need to be more more vegan and that and you can see kind of like I put everything into my music and everything it's kind of how to if you want to meet the real me you, you check out my music and take it very seriously my song dead turtles is pretty much my song about these matters and so you know like it says you know daily living and too much meat you know like so that's kind of my commitment that and I, it's, that, that's, even though that seems like some small lyric, it's actually a, a big deal to me. I put a lot of thought into that little teeny two-second snidbit of lyric because I think that people, they do this club. Like, are you in the vegan club? You know, you're not in the vegan club, you know? And then you're, no, I, I couldn't be a vegan. I, uh, you know, I like a lot of vegan things, but I have to eat meat at least once a day. You know, if everybody just ate meat once a day and was pretty much vegan to the best of their ability all the whole rest of the day, that would be probably enough to change most of our problems on the earth. So, like, people shouldn't have to feel like they have to be vegan in every sense. Besides that, you know, who, who the hell knows how to do that, you know? So, for right now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring back in some of my previous diets ideas. If you know me, I've been on a diet since I was like 12, 13 years old, my whole life. Um, so it's just kind of, I just said, life for me is like a collection of diets. So I'll just like take some ideas from my previous la last two diets and, and I'm bringing them back in. So what I'm going to be doing is if, uh, if you look at my playlist vegan, I might change the title of that a little bit. But the, the one called uh, uh, Angie's Vegan Recipes or something like that. On there, uh, it talks about what my breakfast is. It says breakfast Angie style or something like that. I'm going to keep doing that. I call that petit déjeuner. It's just um, oatmeal with walnuts in it and honey. See? That's, honey's not vegan. So, but I'm going to use honey, which isn't vegan. I have tea or coffee with every meal. My coffee, I just drink it black. But, but when I have tea, I put some honey in it. You know, so and then, anyway, so so I'll just kind of do the quick little thing, what I'm doing. This I call this the Spiral Times Diet, okay? And this is, uh, this is my, my statement as well to things. So in the morning, I'll have my oatmeal, walnuts, and coffee with a piece of fruit, okay, honey in the oatmeal. And then during work, assuming I, if, if uh, I have the day job, a day shift job, I'll have, uh, there's two, two breaks, I'll have a peanut butter sandwich and an apple for one break and a peanut butter and sandwich and prunes for another break. And then with water, of course. And then as soon as I get home, That'll be, I used to live in Spain and, and uh, I just like Spanish ideas a great deal. That's where I learned to cook and stuff. So in Spain, the biggest meal of the day is, is, is the meal in the, the biggest meal of the day is the meal in the middle of the day. <laughs> Why is that so hard to say? And then they call it a uh, medio dia. And um, they, they take like two hours or three hours off in work so they can come home make a nice meal, take a nap afterwards, and spend time with the family. It's kind of funny. But anyway, so the, I'm going to eat that meal when I come home from work. So I'm going to make um, chicken pot au feu. I'll do a recipe for that. Pot au feu means pot on the fire. It's the, it's the mother of all soups. It's the French chicken 
soup that's like the it's the rest the core recipe the, the ancient core recipe of that so what I what I this is from my previous diet so what I like to do is uh, make chicken potefu soup and uh, and then I make a whole bunch of it so I'll put an entire chicken see so basically I'm going to be eating meat once a day and this this uh, soup is the meal that has meat in it and so I'm going to buy a cage free no hormones nice chicken you know a whole chicken with the skin and everything and then you, you make that you make the soup uh, with that a whole chicken and then um, I have a big giant Tupperware and then I just save that so then each day when I come home from work I take some of the soup out of that Tupperware and I put it in a pot and I reheat it enough for one bowl of soup with a couple pieces of bread and have some soup and bread which is nine times out of ten in Spain the Medio Dia meal is soup and bread to to kind of change it up once that soup's made you can use that kind of as like a core soup you know and so so like if you feel like you you wish you could have something else then you might throw some garbanzos in it just the same thing take out that so take out the soup for just that meal out of the the big tupperware put a little bit of garbanzos in it that's a big thing in spain or maybe put a little bit of, of stewed tomatoes in it and make it like kind of like a chicken tomato soup or you know um what else could i do i'm not sure you know but you can kind of do little things like in spain you might uh you might fry up a little sausage you know uh maybe some turkey uh some turkey sausage or a veggie sausage or something like that and and, and so, you know fry it up you know and saute it i mean and then um throw that in there with some garbanzos that would make it seem really like spanish cocido right there cocido is what they call their soup in spain but anyway so i'll have that that meat once a day that chicken so i'm gonna besides the honey and besides the chicken in my chicken paltafu soup i'm gonna try to be as vegan as possible okay and then and then at the end of the day because i'm diabetic i gotta kind of split it up so I have like a, a dinner one and a, di a dinner number one and a dinner number two, you know, and, and I call them both dinner because you so you can interchange it because you never know, you know, sometimes you come home from a, a day of being real busy and you just don't feel like cooking a meal or something like that. So, so I might, you know, like the, the time that I'm the most tired, I would make the easiest meal, you know, so like basically the, the, it's for those that would be either like a vegan you know, like vegan Greek food or vegan Mexican food or vegan um, or vegan Italian food, you know, something like that, you know, but just make it uh, vegan, see, and then um, I might have what I call a, a sandwich al fromage, which just means a cheese sandwich. So like, like it might be like a typical one, like it would be like one of those would probably be my high protein tomato and bean soup. And I have that recipe on there on my uh, Angie recipes uh, playlist. You know, that with like a chicken, I mean, I'm sorry, with a sandwich, uh, a fromage sandwich, you know, with that, like a cheese sandwich. Vegan cheese doesn't have any protein in it like regular cheese does. So if you make like a cheese sandwich with vegetables in it together with a, a high protein tomato soup, then the soup has the protein in it and soup and sandwich. I'm just, I'm a huge fan of soup, if you haven't noticed. Um, so it's like soup with that and then, and then so one, one of the two meals will have soup with it and, it's, and some kind of uh, sandwich thing or maybe tacos or like the chorizo taco recipe that I have on there or something. And then the other one, then the other one will have a, a spinach salad, maybe spinach with a little bit of, um, what do you call it, uh, with with a little bit of kale in it, some tomatoes, you know, some uh, sweet sweet grape tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, uh, some carrots, some a uh, little bit of red onions, maybe some avocado. Maybe the avocados on the sandwich. Actually, I'm not really sure, but 
You know, so so like uh, so like one of the dinner one might be the the high protein tomato and bean soup with the chicken. I mean a cheese. Gosh dang it, a sandwich al fromage sandwich, cheese sandwich. Then the second meal might be um, either something Greek or Mexican or Italian, but vegan. You know, and then um, with a, a salad. You know, and it might have either bread or or instant brown rice or something. Or maybe it's a pasta because it's Italian and it's got brown pasta or wheat pasta, something like that, you know? So, and then once a week for the dinner, I'll have either salmon and rice or um, it, every once in a while, I'll make some uh, New, New England clam chowder. My family's from uh, Salem, Massachusetts, like since the Mayflower. And it's a... Clam chowder is this big thing, and so it's like a favorite thing of mine since I was a kid. So, uh, and I know how to make really good uh, that uh, uh, clam chowder, so I'll do a recipe video for that, how to make New England clam chowder. Every once in a while I'll make some of that, and then and then I'll, I'll, I'll eat that for dinner one or dinner two, you know. It might take a couple days or something like that because it makes a lot of it before I eat it all up, you know, or maybe... It's, if I make enough, it'll last all week. But every once in a while, I'll make that. But most of the time, I'll just have uh, once a week uh, salmon. So basically, the only thing, the, the non-vegan things are honey. And for, for the work, the peanut butter sandwiches, for while I'm at work, we'll have honey on them. The chicken and the chicken pot soup. And then once a week, salmon. And every once in a while, clam chowder which has clams in it and also has a bunch of cream in it and it's it's got lots of dairy in it and stuff so it's it's not really up to par either but for the most part like in every other way like case K for butter I substitute with uh, ch uh, coconut oil and you know I'm just like and as I go I'll learn more and more and more you know I for sauces I use vegan mayonnaise and vegan sauces and I just try to incorporate more and more and more, just like my song Dead Turtles, you know, I'm just trying to incorporate in less dead animals, dead turtles, dead animals, dead things, and just and, and have like vegetarian th versions of those same things, you know, and and, uh, and vegan choices like that. But yet I'll still keep in my damn chicken once a day, you know, and and these other horrible things, you know.